Hey friends, it's Natana, the Empowerment Goddess. Welcome to today's Sacred Daily Intentions here on Mystical Illuminations for August 4th, 2021. Hey friends, thanks for joining me today to set your Sacred Daily Intentions. Before we get into our sacred daily intentions today, we are going to pull a I am motivational card for the collective to get us in a, prep, a proper mindset um, and focus on what we are doing here today, which is this basic daily practice. Today's card is I am passionate. I give my whole heart to everything I do. You know, uh, we got this card not that long ago the other day, and uh, apparently <laughs> we need to focus on our passion. The computer agrees. I give my whole heart to everything I do. You know, last time I talked about how that's asking a lot, but today as I'm like sitting in this, it feels easier for me to just even take in that verbiage that I just spoke out loud. I am passionate. I give my whole heart to everything I do. I've really been focusing the last few days on just like detoxing my body, my mind, my spirit, my environment, and really just focusing on showing up for myself in those little ways that create that big picture. And the more I do it, the more I find passion for um, life. And it's like, it, it grows, your passion can grow. So our motivational card for today, I am passionate. I give my whole heart to everything I do. How about you? All right, guys, we are going to set our sacred daily intentions and we are going to do some EFT tapping, emotional freedom technique tapping while we set our daily intentions. So that way we can reprogram our subconscious neurolog neurological response system. If you don't know how to tap, we start with a karate chop at the pinky fingers. Once we have a transition, we come to the top of the head. After the transition, the inner corners of the eyebrows. After the trans transition, outer corners of the eyes. After the transition, underneath the eye, on top of the cheekbone, in the center. After the transition, underneath the nostril, on top of the lip, in the center. After the transition, underneath the lip, on top of the chin, in the center. After the transition, we go to our heart center. After the transition, we chicken wing underneath the armpits on the side of the chest. And we cycle as needed, if needed, until we are done with our intentions for today. And we end with a karate chop. Goodness, guys, I am like all over my words today. So with that being said, let's take a moment. Let's go ahead and get comfy. Let's get cozy. Soften your gaze if you want to. Close your eyes. Go ahead and just take this moment for yourself. I invite you to take in three deep breaths. And as you take in those breaths, move your body if you need to. Make noises if you need to. Stretch it out if you need to. I want you, I don't want you. I invite you to feel your body, feel your muscles be in this body right here and now. I know a lot of the spiritual community always talks about ascension and raising your vibration and being the highest being possible. But the thing is, is like, we cannot do that if we aren't present here in this 3D body as well. So in order to be present with that, we do things like exercise and breathing. Let's take one more breath. Hold it. Exhale. <sighs> mm, I like it. Okay. So I invite you to dedicate your, <laughs> I invite you to set your intentions below in the comments. We are going to be dedicating our day, saying what we are thankful for, because we are somebody who loves ourselves, we have, and or we will, and something that's most like for us in this moment right here and now is. So let's get started. Hmm, today. <sighs> I dedicate my day. <sighs> I dedicate my day to not giving up.
today. I am thankful. I am thankful for the excitement growing in my spirit. <sighs> Today. <sighs> because I'm somebody who loves myself, I have and or I will. I have given myself responsibilities and fun today. And I will, <laughs> I will follow through with the rest of the responsibilities that I have to keep up with, but I'll do it in a way that isn't overwhelming. It's like going with the flow that you're creating. It's like you're creating your own momentum and then you're jumping on that momentum to finish everything that it is that you can get done with that wave. <sighs> Today. <sighs> Something that's most live for me in this moment right here and now is Possibly putting myself in a vulnerable state to take a big leap forward. <sighs> and so it is. So it shall be. So mode it be. <sighs> Amen. Man, thank you so much for joining me today to set your sacred daily intentions. I'm so proud of you for taking this moment and being present with yourself and just creating a healthy routine for you that will help you in the long run because when we could stick to small little things for ourselves that are healthy, we can stick to the big things for, our, for ourselves that are hard. With that being said, guys, I do want to let you know that I do have some links below in the description. I have links for you to book sessions with me, to email me, or to subscribe to my channel. Um, I offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring for like-minded women who are ready to bless their mess. I work with women who are ready to turn their shame, blame, guilt, <laughs> victimhood, and poverty mindset into empowerment. We do this through self-development, um, self-exploration, shadow work, self-help tools, mindfulness, and accountability. If that sounds like something you would be interested in and you are exhausted doing this alone and you're ready for somebody who has been in the trenches and experienced trauma mama drama, as I like to call it, go ahead and click on that link below. I'd be more than happy to support you if you just want to say hi um, and or book with me as well. Go ahead and email me. And then if you want to subscribe to my other channel, I would greatly appreciate the support. I also offer Atlantean healing, which is a 50 dimensional vibration healing. It is like Reiki, but different in the application. The outcome is the same where we work on your energetic body, your physical body, but we also work in your auric field and your past lives. So if that's something that you might be interested in as well, the link is in the description. I hope you guys have a beautiful Wednesday. Go ahead and uh, remember that we are still on this countdown to Lionsgate. Only six more days. Keep setting those intentions for yourself of your manifestation. Keep showing up for yourself for your manifestations. I encourage you to show up for all of the rest of the six days moving forward here to set those intentions for yourself, to hold on to that energy, to grasp it, to take it by the balls <laughs> or the ovaries, and um, really step into your power with this portal that is opening for us. All right, guys. Bye.